what's going on guys it's your average programmer here and today we are going to be talking about data types in C sharp data types are pretty much self-explanatory they are the types of data that you are using in your program and if we take a look here we can see the different types of data that we have we have a byte we have an integer a float a decimal a double a char a bool and a string now, there are more a few more data types than these but these are the more common data types that you would use in your program if we look here you can see that I've consoled out right line the min and max value of each data type for the first five because these are actual numbers byte through double are numbers these last three data types are not numbers they are strings and true or false values so we're going to go ahead and run our console control f5 we're going to see the min and max value for each for byte the min and max value is 0 to 255 integer negative 2 billion to 2 billion and so forth We've got float decimal and double they all have min and max values now I want to comment out these data types over here and I'm going to leave I'm going to leave decimal, double, and integer. I'm actually going to uncomment this. Comment out these three. When we take a look at integer, decimal, and double, they can be considered the same. A float is also included in this. I'm going to keep these the same. these can be considered pretty much the same these are the the decimal values or the data types that you would most commonly use when it comes to any kind of math or when it comes to declaring some kind of number assigning a number to a value or assigning a variable to a number value now double this data type right here is usually used for non-integer math where precision isn't really necessary so double is a performance based data type. It'll give you an answer extremely quickly, but the precision, the accuracy of the number may not be as, as precise as you want it to be. So that would not be used for math equations or calculating some kind of uh, number if you want precision. Now decimal would be, would be used if precision is necessary. So decimal isn't the fastest data type to use, but if you want an accurate answer, this is what you would use, especially if you're dealing with money calculations or any kind of currency, you would use a decimal value. Now integer would be used if by default for any integer based operations that type performance isn't that necessary but it just keeps everything simple since integer is not a decimal value nor is it it's nothing but an actual number a real a whole number is what i meant to say integer is just a whole number and not a decimal or floating point value like these three so let me go ahead and show you something here i'm going to delete the console.write lines and I'm going to show you something very very valuable especially if you're dealing with any kind of calculation so we're going to set integer value to let's say 10 and we're going to declare another integer value let's say int 2 equals 3 now we are going to console dot right line integer divided by int two integer divided by int two, which is basically ten divided by three. We're going to console dot right line and see what we get. And it gives us three, which is a whole number, but 10 divided by three 
is 3.3 continued. Now the reason it's giving us back a whole number is because you're dividing an integer by another integer, which gives you an integer back, which is the reason why they gave you three instead of 3.333 continued. Now if we change this up a little bit and we go ahead and say integer or call this a decimal, Of three watch what we're gonna get back we get back a decimal so if we divide an integer by an integer we get an integer back if we divide an integer by a decimal we get a decimal back so if you want your calculations to be precise be sure to remember this um, this piece of information that if you want a decimal back you're gonna have to divide it by a decimal and not an integer regardless of what the integer is. So 10 divided by three would be 3.33 if you declare a decimal, if you declare three to be a decimal. But it would remain three if you declared three to be an integer. I hope that makes sense. Now, I wanted to talk about the other data types that we have. I come these out and go to these over to here. We got char, we've got boolean, and we've got string. I want to go over string first since that's the simplest one. A string is super simple. All a string is is characters wrapped in double quotes. So we can declare this to be. We can have. Actually, let's rename this. Let's say string first name equals James Lee, capital J. String last name equals, and remember to wrap it in double quotes. That's what allows it to be a string, Celestin. So first name James Lee, last name Celestin. This would be considered a string. Anything in between double quotes is a string. Even if you were to put a number in between here, it would be considered a string. So if you were to, cl to declare a string of string phone number, you will put 555, 555, 5555. That would be considered a string, even though it's numbers, all numbers inside of it. That would be considered a string because you declared it to be a string and you wrapped it in double variables or double quotation marks, sorry. So that's a string. We're gonna keep everything simple for now. In future videos, we're gonna be manipulating strings and performing calculations with these integers up here, with these data types over here. Now, Boolean is a true or false value. If we take a look at Boolean, we can set this to true or false. A Boolean cannot contain any other value but true or false. So Boolean true, we can console.write line Boolean, that's the variable name. we run that we get true so only true or false values I'm gonna set this to false and do the same thing just so I can prove to you that it can only be true or false there we go false we got up here so if we were to set this to a string if we were to, to declare a boolean but set it to a string let's go ahead and do that uh, James Lee, you can see the compiler is already yelling at us. And if we go over here, it says we cannot implicitly convert a string to a Boolean. So because this is wrapped in double quotation marks and because it's not true or false, it cannot be a Boolean. A Boolean only has true or false values. So that's what a Boolean is. We are going to 
erase all this. Now a character. The data type is char, but it's short for character. A character is a single character. It can be any symbol, any letter, any any number, but it's a character that you would wrap in single quotes. So that would be considered a character. Lowercase f, capital F, lowercase j, capital J, whatever the, whatever the character is. It can be any character, but it has to be a single character. If I try to put two in here, it's going to yell at me. See, it says too many characters in character literal. Because I declared this to be a character, I can only put one character in here. And remember, it can be any symbol, any letter. You can put a plus symbol in there if you want to. You can put a dollar sign in there if you want to. It can be literally anything, but it only has to be one character or symbol. And it has to be wrapped in single quotation marks. So we're going to console.write line. Character. And we get the quote or the exclamation mark. Now let's go ahead and try to put our name in here or my name in here. And again, it says too many characters in character literal. You can only have one symbol, character, or number in here. You can put the number nine if you want to. So those are the different data types that we have in C Sharp. Again, there are more data types than these, but these are the most common ones. And byte can also be excluded from this because byte isn't very, very often used. So you can exclude byte, but sometimes byte is used. But for the most part, anything from integer down to string are very common to use in your program. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you got something. If you did, comment down below what you learned. If you didn't, let me know what I did wrong, what I could have done better. I'm open to criticism. I do not take anything seriously. So just let me know anything you have, any ideas you have for me or anything like that. In a future video, soon, sooner or later, we are going to be talking about functions. I believe that may be the next video or two. We're going to talk about functions. And we're going to use these different data types to calculate different integer values, calculate different number values. And we're pretty much going to be manipulating these data types inside of our function. So if you like this video, hit the like. If you want to stay tuned for more content, be sure to subscribe. And um, I thank you all for watching the video this long if you're still here. And I hope you all have a good day. Thank you very much.